Hello there and welcome to my brand new video. Tomorrow, which is the 15th of November 2013, in aid of children in need, I'm going to be doing some fundraising in Eastbourne Town Centre between the hours of 10am and 6pm. This is subject to the weather. I'm going to be making balloon animals and other balloon sculptors um, and in exchange for donations from the public and I'm also going to be doing some other fundraising that day including a balloon sword flash mob a balloon sword fight flash mob to be more precise um, hopefully it'll be a success the problem when you do a flash mob is obviously you've got to try to keep it quiet you know you can't have too many people knowing about it the idea is it's supposed to be a surprise um, so it's been difficult um, I don't know if it's going to be a success but I hope it will be and um, yeah so anyway uh, I just want to show you um, some stuff that I'll be doing tomorrow for children in need last week I bought one of these a children in need t-shirt it's a 1986 edition. So um, I'm going to sell this hopefully tomorrow and get quite a bit of money for it. It cost me £5. I'm hoping to get at least £20 for it. Anyway, I'll be wearing that tomorrow during the fundraise. Okay. I've also got some children need glasses. And I've also got those little ear, little children need ears. And what I've done is I basically attached two of them. And they go on like so. I look a bit silly, but never mind. I always look silly when I'm when I'm doing the balloons anyway, I usually wear big funny glasses. So there'll be that. And I've also got this. It's a trolley and it's got a sign. And it says fundraising with a twist well I've got my own fundraising company non-profit making collecting for BBC children need donate by text you can donate by text you text FWAT which stands for fundraising with a twist 47 then the amount you can text either two pounds five pounds or ten pounds and you text that to 700 and then 70 70070 for example, FWAT 47 space two pounds. I've also got the option where people can throw money into a bucket. And there it is. It's a collection bucket. Little slot just there. And it's got the children need name and logo picture, fuzzy picture of the logo and it's also got the registration number, charity registration number which is a legal requirement when you're doing a charity, when you're, effect, when you're officially doing a charity collection I'll explain what I mean by that in a moment and it also needs to be sealed as well I'm using some security tags on the bucket okay it's a legal requirement In the past, what I have done, when I haven't had a license, is I've donated what I've earned for skin. Now, for those of you who don't know, as well as doing hired work, I also do bosking with the balloons. I make my balloon animals and I work for donations, just like I'm doing tomorrow. Um, however, tomorrow I'm going to be doing it for charity. What I've done in the past is I've, give, I've sometimes done the balloons for donations as a busker. And I've given the proceeds to charity. I did it without a license, but I didn't break the law because I never informed the public that the proceeds were going to charity. I simply just decided to donate what I'd earn, and that was acceptable. There was no license required. Um, some, in some cases, you still need a license, maybe a busker's license. Um, but no, I didn't need one. Um, that's the easiest way to go about it. But if you want to do it officially, then you know, for example, I'm wearing a Comet Relief merchandise. 
and I'm also using a charity collection bucket. Um, I've, I've got the bucket sealed. It has on the bucket what the charity is. It has a registration number. You can't use an open container. It has to be sealed. It has to have a lid on it. If it's a bucket or whatever it might be, it has, it, it has to be sealed. Those are the regulations. That is the law. Early today, I was in Eastbourne. There was this lad, very talented, singing, and he was actually using. Um, he was he, he was advertising. It was for charity. Had a little sign. Said it was for charity, and he had a. Um, he was like a guitar, um, but it was actually a guitar a bag, and he had money in it. And it wasn't sealed. It wasn't a sealed container. It was an open container. I had a word with him. He was with his mum and some other people, perhaps his friends, sisters. And I told him he couldn't do it. And I told him that do it, Boskin, but do not advertise it for the charity. You need to remove all this. Anyway, it was all removed. All this stuff that I saw regarding it being for charity. I left. Don't know if he actually went and put it all back, but I believe he didn't. Um, anyway. You need to be careful when you do charity fundraising, okay? You need to, you really need to be careful. I don't have permission from children need to do a fundraise, to fundraise for them. It's not, they don't give permission, okay? Some charities do, but they don't. And um, they actually advise you not to do charity uh, street collections or door to door. Um, but it's only one of the recommendations. It's because of all the legal, legal um, red tape. But it didn't take me long at all. I was approved by Eastbourne Council to get the license. Um, I just had to explain to them that the count uh, that children need don't give permission. They accepted that. I got my license. Okay. Um, so tomorrow, or you know, which is Friday the fifteenth of November, I'll be doing some charity fundraising. Um, once again, if you want to, um, if you want to help with, if you want to make a, a, a donation to children need, you can text FWAT. 47 then the amount so you have a little space then the amount w fwat 47 space then the amount two pounds five pounds or ten pounds thank you for watching this video and um hopefully you'll be in eastbourne town center and you'll see me fundraising thank you and please support children need